Hi there, I'm Martin. I'm going to talk to you about why you should at least consider getting an Aguilar Filter Twin bass effects pedal. I've recently got hold of one and I tried it against a couple of others and I can only recommend this. I've recently joined a band called Project Karnak. If you watch my videos, you'll have heard of them. Um, a lot of the basses on the record are synth basses, which means that I needed to imitate some um, synth bass lines that are monophonic and they have a filter envelope on them. Um, that means that when the keyboard player first plays the note, he gets a uh, an envelope moving, a sort of filter moving on the first note, and then that's held, and whilst he plays that phrase, and then he lifts his hand, and then the filter restarts when he plays the next phrase. So there's a couple of things that I needed to do to achieve this sound. The first is apply um, a bass octave effect. So I'm using an MXR bass octave deluxe. There's my dry tone. And here's a little bit of sub added. So you can hear it's a little bit subtle, but it's it's a generated kind of sub sound rather than a an actual bass note sub sound. So that's what we're working with is a clean tone effect essentially. Now onto the Aguilar. It has two fills running at the same time and it only has four controls, which is kind of nice. It's very simple, it's a very solid little pedal. I could probably throw it through my window if I come home from a gig and I've lost my keys. Um, First of all, we have this blend knob. Now there's two filters running. One is from up to down, so it's like a, it's a, like a, the effect of a wah pedal being taken from toe to heel. You kind of get that sort of feel. So it's like sweeping an EQ from top to bottom. So from top down, and then the reverse, so from heel to toe, if you like, on a wah pedal. So there's an owl kind of one and a ooh kind of one. That's a great way of looking at it. Then there's two velocity knobs that controls the speed of each of the different ones. So there's a blend to mix them, and then speed for each individual one. So if I was to go for all the way down one, and I'll put it relatively slow, they're never that slow, but you can, this is the best way to hear them. So this is all the, the down one. There we go, and then the uppy one. So yeah, cool effect. Um, the next control that I generally, generally like to have from 9 to midday, so 9 o'clock to midday, maybe 1 o'clock, is the threshold. Now that controls the sort of part of the spectrum that the filters are going to have the most effect on. So if it's set quite low, it's quite low down. As you can hear, it's a bit bassier. If I take it up to about 1 o'clock, and then all the way up. I'm not really into this, to be honest. It's not my taste, but here we are. It's a bit strange. It's got sort of a springy quality to it. Yeah, there's something like a whistling in there somewhere. Take an example of a blend. So what I would do for that synth sound is, first of all, I'm going to need it to go from top to bottom. That's the emphasis that we need, because the filter on a synth will start open and then close up a bit. So I'm going to use the downy one mostly, and you're going to use that quite slowly. But what I can also do with this that I quite like is I can use the quick um, up one to create a strange attack. So here it is mixed in most of it. It's got a percussive quality to it. Bring that threshold back where I want it. It's a real slappy, kind of like, whoa. Now mixed all the way that way, it's a bit much, but if I bring it back here... It's actually supporting the note quite well. So yeah, I think that's how I want it, I guess. That's quite nice. Now here's something else that it does, and I'm not sure if it's typical of all the envelope filter pedals that are out there, but it does a really good job of not attacking every note. And if I'm playing staccato, for example, it's gonna attack every note. So imagine I'm being a synth player playing, taking my hand off every time, or I'm playing legato and keeping my fingers down so that the envelope doesn't re-trigger, if that makes sense, if you're familiar with synthesizers. So here I am being staccato. So you can hear the, the filters happening every time. Whereas if I'm playing legato, now obviously I have to influence that a bit with my playing. I have to soften up or whatever but it's doing a pretty good job of it. So 
that's pretty key. So something I wanted to point out about this pedal as well against the EVS Bass IQ and the MXR M82, which are the other two I tried and didn't really like to be honest. Particularly the, the MXR I felt has like it in the decay of it in its sweep, it kind of peaks the audio a bit. It's like it it raises the volume and kind of distorts part of the spectrum, whereas this is very flat, it doesn't make the note louder at any point. The bass IQ by EBS wasn't so bad, um, it did. It had three settings, it had a down setting, an up setting and a very up setting. All of the sounds on it were just a bit too aggressive and they weren't really what I was trying to do. So it wasn't appropriate, This was I was always coming back to this, it's a nice simple tone. And also with the EBS and less so with the MXR because I didn't really give it a chance to be honest. Um, I had to keep coming back and manipulating the tone on the amp to make the filter tone right. So you can see how messed up that is as a tone, but if I take these effects out, I'm still really happy with that clean tone. Whereas I don't have to change my clean tone to make the pedal work. The pedal just comes in and works.